Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's solve another SQL question today. This one's actually in a common interview question by Netflix, and it's sort of a follow-up on the last one we did, and I would recommend watching that and understanding that problem first. It's called, the previous one was called second highest salary, and this is like a follow-up on that one. So in this problem, we're given one table, the employee table. Each employee has an ID, a name, salary and a department ID so we know which department that employee works in and to map this department ID to the actual department we're given a convenient department table so in this case we see one maps to IT two maps to sales and we want to find we want to query to find the employees who earn the top three salaries in each of the departments. So what does that actually mean? Well, for let's say the IT department, we only want the employees who have the top three salaries. So for IT, we need to know what are the top three salaries. How do we figure that out? Well, let's first just look at every employee who works in IT, right? And we can do that from our employee table. So one is the IT department. So in this case, we have five employees who work in IT. And the salaries of those employees are these values. Now, what are the top three salaries? Well, 90K, 85K, and the third highest is 70K. So we got 85K, even though it showed up twice, we know it's the second highest salary. We got 90K, which is the highest. And we also got 70K, 69K is the fourth highest, but we only want the top three. So we don't need to count 69K. So since these are the top three salaries, we want all the employees and we want their names who are in the IT department, right? Who earn one of these salaries, who earn one of the top three salaries. So we have five IT employees so when we look at these five employees, we see that all of them are top three salaries except for Janet. She only earns 69K, so we're going to add Joe, Max, Randy, Will to our output table, but not Janet, right? So, so far we got the, all employees with the top three salaries from the IT department. And we're basically going to repeat this process for every single department. And we only have one more department, department two, which we know maps to sales. And since there's only two employees, the top three salaries are going to be 80K, 60K. And then for the third one, we don't even have one. So it's empty, right? So based on this, we, we know we can take every single employee in the sales department and then add them to our output. So now let's actually write the query. So we know that the most important table is the employee table. That's the one that has all the information. I'm gonna to refer to it as E1. So E1 is our employee, right? And the question we're asking for every employee is does E, does the employee E1 have a top three salary in their department? That's the, the question we're asking, right? How do we determine that? Well, my question is, let's determine in a subquery, so how many salaries in the same department as E1 are larger? So how many salaries in the same department as E1 are greater than the salary of E1. So for this employee. So how do we figure that out? Well, let's look at every employee, right, as E2. So we want to compare this employee to every other employee. And we want to make sure that they're in the same department. So we can say E1 department ID equals E2 department ID. And we're looking for all employees who have a salary larger than E1. So the other condition is E2 salary. So if sal uh, employee two has a greater salary than employee one. 
And since we want to know how many salaries, how many unique salaries does this uh, condition hold, we're going to select we're going to select the distinct salary of employee 2. So now, what does this tell us? Well, for every, so E1 is going to be every employee, for example, Joe, right? And this is going to tell us how many salaries, how many unique salaries in the same department as Joe, so department 1, are, how many salaries are greater than Joe's salary, so greater than 85K. In this case, we know only one salary is greater than Joe's in the same department. So therefore, Joe has a top three salary, right? What about Janet? Janet is also in department one. She earns 69K. This subquery is gonna tell us how many salaries and how many unique salaries in department one are greater than Janet's. Well, we know 90K, 85K and 70K. So that's three salaries larger than Janet's. So Janet doesn't earn a top three salary. So using this subquery, we can say for employee one, if there are, we only want the sal we only want the employees that earn a top three salary. So if this subquery is less than three, meaning only two or less salaries are larger than employee ones. That means employee one earns a top three salary. So this is really the meat and potatoes of this problem. Once you've solved this, you've pretty much gotten the entire problem done. The last thing we need to do is, as in the input they show us, the department, instead of the ID, we want the actual name of the department, and we can easily get that from our departments table. I'm going to add that here. So department as D and I'm going to add one more condition to our where. So where E1 department. So there's the query. Now we just need to know what we're going to select from it. So we want to get the department name call it department. We want the employee name, E1 name as employee, and we want the employee's salary, so E1 salary as salary. So this is like one of the standard solutions to this problem. I'll just run it. With all query problems, there's a million different ways to write this, and there are definitely faster ways to write this, as you can see. But I hope that it was at least understandable what we're doing with subqueries. I know things can get complicated. And I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hopefully will see you pretty soon.